All right, got one of my phones uh, rooted and uh, volunteering to make a video tutorial of the LG G4 root method. I've actually ran across a uh, issue when I was running on VS 986 10B, and if you do the method, it may break your phone. That's what got what happened to me. So. Um, what we'll be doing with the LG G4 is we're going to put it through the KDS method first. Uh, just show you that this one's not rooted yet. There's no super user or anything like that in here. Show you the phone's version. Software info. And right there, and this is my girlfriend's phone right here, so she's letting me root her phone so I can uh, show you guys how to do this without breaking your phone or you guys are going to rip your hair apart. Um, here is my G4. This is the one that's rooted. If I can find it. Where you are. There you go, super user right there. And show you, oops, well you can tell it's modified because I tried to do a system update on accident, but it refused not to because I disabled it. And this is the version I am on. As you can see, the system status is modified. And just to show you guys that that this phone is the VS986 same as for hers hardware VS986 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the KM and that KMS uh, KDZ method since this is the older version of the uh, lollipop uh, links will be posted on the on this uh, forum here. Please, uh, if you guys visit these links, please uh, thank the guys for bringing out the root method. But I do want to give out that warning that if you're still running on 10B, uh, go ahead and do the KDZ method. So that way you have the 11A and then we'll go ahead and root. Uh, so we'll get it from this guy here. Um, this guy right here, what's his name? Where are you at? Uh, Tyler, uh, he actually found a, uh, image file, the 11A, and this is what you're going to need. The links are going to be in the bottom. So thank this guy for posting this image out, because without this, I won't even make this video, and my phone will still be bricked in the boot loop, or something like that, still saying system failed. Uh, so go ahead and download that. And uh, there will be another link for the KDZ. Follow these instructions or follow along with this video. And we're going to go ahead and download it. All you got to do is download the Verizon drivers. Uh, yeah, Verizon only. This is the video as far as for the Verizon. Um, then you download the LG Flash Tool. There's this thing right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright, since I am not going to be using this phone now, this is just to show you guys that root is available and does work. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and remove from my computer. You only need one phone on here because if you have two, you can end up screwing something up or whatever. So please make sure all your USB ports are clear and free from any other devices but the one that you're rooting. Alright, I got the flash tool right here on the on my desktop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it. Run. Um once you get the file downloaded, make sure you put it in the same folder where it says uh, LG Flash 2 2014 and you place the image right here. That way it's easier to find. Uh, click on that. Click on, oops, not that one. There we go, that one. 
And then uh, once you got everything programmed, we're going to hit the CSE flash. But before we do that, we need to put this in download mode. So power off your phone. Make sure it's still connected. We're going to power off. We're going to say OK. And as soon as we hit the power off button, we're going to hold down the volume up button. And then as soon as you see that logo right there, just let go of the volume up. And you're going to be in the firmware update. That's not bright. Here we go. Let's get a closer look. Firmware update. As you can see. We got it there. Alright, once you got this all set up, your phone's sitting in download mode. What you do is you hit the CSE flash. And then you click on start. Another window will pop up. Leave everything as is. Oops. Let's minimize that window. Okay. So if it says Korean and all that kind of stuff, just leave it as is. And the program is going to be running. I will get back to you guys here in a few minutes. Oh, okay, this is what I was waiting for. If you get this, do you wish to cancel the OGG mobile software update? I've uh, seen this. Just hit OK. Holy crap, this thing came in English. You mostly have a bunch of question marks and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, when you get that, and if you are seeing any question marks, when you see that first pop-up, just click on that. It means okay. So don't worry about it and let the program do the rest. Alright, so as soon as uh, my phone is done with its progress, as you can tell, it's already putting the VS98611A in here. I will get back to you guys here in a minute. Alright, the phone's almost done. As you guys can see, sitting on 97%, 98, 99, and 100. Alright, once your uh, phone finish, leave the program alone. Let it crash. It will pop up an error saying the program has crashed or whatever. As soon as it does, then feel free to pull the plug from your phone and all that kind of stuff so you're about to see it here in just a second and yes this is normal if it crashes <laughs> alright there goes the phone boom there it goes it crashed we're gonna go ahead and close the program don't yeah. care and we're unplugging the phone Sorry, alright we ain't gonna need this program no more cause we've upgraded to the VS 986-11A and it may take forever so I'm going to get back because it's going to sit here and go loading apps alright phone's about done it's already starting and uh, as you can see the phone still works it decides to restart, but I'm just showing you guys that there is no problems uh, through this KDZ. I mean, I can just blast through here. Let's skip all this. Oh, yeah, the phone's still loading, so I'll be right back. Alright, um, phone's booted up. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, there is another Verizon OTA update uh, for the LG G4. Uh, make sure you don't connect the phone to Wi-Fi. This will prevent an update being transferred on your phone. And as for this app here, not nah, app, but this as this phone here, uh, when I was sitting right here watching it, checking for connection, I've seen somewhere where it tells you what it's doing, and one of them's checking system update. So. Um, I don't know if there is one, or if there is, just make sure you do not connect to Wi-Fi until you get the phone rooted. So, I'll be right back, and it's going to take a minute or so. I don't want to waste nobody's time, and this video is already going on 10 minutes, so I kind of feel pretty bad 
trying to make a short video, never can. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be right back. And this is what I was talking about, software update. I hope you just saw it this time. It just, uh, blasted on by. I don't want to verify the account. If I have to, I'm going to have to put it in there. I really don't want to do it. There, there you go. Saying it was checking for system update. Oh, uh, it's a Google security feature. Well, I already know what it is, so I'll be right back. Alright, now it's root time. Just to show you guys that this thing came back to its factory set settings. So there you go. Alright, now we're going to take this phone. Go to the app drawer. Settings. Please do not dare to God click on that. Uh, click on the belt phone. Software info. Build number keep tapping on it and then it will say you are now a developer I think it's like seven times you had to tap on it back out scroll down developer options okay I don't care about the warning USB debugging needs to be on so we tell it on and we'll go back right here alright we'll just take the phone plug it right in I have to set the 